Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm going to be talking about tech style fins. I've had quite a few folks asking me about them. They've seen some of the videos. I'll post the one I put up there about, you know, some of the more popular fins that are out there. And I think that video was 2019 or 2020. And I wanted to do a couple of videos with some of the fins that are a little bit more up to date on the market out there. And what we're looking at here are some of the more popular fins that we carry here at Diver Supply. And there'll be links for all these down in the bottom. Now, this is not a sponsored video. This is just an informational video. So what we're looking at here is right here, this red fin. This is the dive right uh, tech fin. And this dive right fin, one of the things you're gonna notice about it, it is solid where most of the other ones have a vent here in the dead spot. And if you're wondering what I mean by the dead spot, when you're kicking a fin, this area right here just in front of the foot pocket tends to be the dead spot. Down here, further down the blade, when you kick, the water's forced off the end. And a lot of people don't realize that when you look at a fin, I'll try to get this straight on, when you see these rails right here, the rails stand up to keep the water from rolling off the side of the fin plus the rail keeps the fin stiff and allows some of the blades to flex. This blade is pretty stiff. And you'll see right there as I hold it and bend it that this is a fairly stiff fin. Most of these tech fins you're gonna notice are not real long. And this dive right fin, this particular model, is actually the lightest of the bunch. This fin weighs 1.9 pounds. And I'm gonna give you the weights on all of these. So that's the lightest. You'll notice it has a nice spring strap across here and metal connectors to the fin and some little flexible uh, hinges here at the end. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Look at that, there you go. I think that's, I think that'll work. And it's got a nice finger loop on the back, which for, in my personal opinion, I like those finger loops because they make wearing the fins so much easier when you're trying to get them off or trying to get them on. Now the next fin you see up here, yeah, it comes in pink. This is the RK3. Now the RK3 fin is our next heaviest fin. And this is what we call the super size, which is the largest. These come in pink and yellow and gray, uh, black and some other, I think of one or two other colors. But uh, it's a very, very popular fin. I have a pair of orange supers like this. And it is um, a true textile fin. And what I mean by that, it has the vents here. Let's see if I can get, you can see the vents here in the dead spot so that when you kick down, it relieves some of that pressure here in the dead spot and the same when you kick up. And of course, this is the weakest part of your kick. Now, most of these tech fins, a lot of these techie divers, they use these fin in a frog kick style and they can also do helicopter turns with this style fin or even back up kicking. So you have to practice that sort of thing. And of course, it's all a part of, you know, becoming efficient with your equipment. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is there's two drain holes in the bottom here, which make it nice. It's got kind of a, a corrugated uh, look here on the bottom. And the RK3, this RK3 is made out of a, a type of monoprene type material. It's also got a nice spring strap like you see here. And it's got a big finger pull. I think I can get a look at that. A big finger pull here, which makes that pretty nice. And these come in many different sizes. 
Um, I think all the way from extra small up through what they call super. But this is a real nice fin. I enjoy diving with my RK3s. Now our next fin is here in the middle. This is our RK3 HD. And just by holding this fin, you can really feel the difference just in your hand between the 2.9 and the 3.25 RK3 HD. All the uh, features are exactly the same. And I wanted to point out and get a little, little light here. You can see the ribs in the middle of this fin. Again, it helps keep the fin stiff and that's what you want in a short fin. You don't want a long fin when you're going in a cave or maybe a wreck. You don't want the silt or the rust, you know, boiled up around you. So using a small fin or a small uh, stiff fin is very good for moving yourself with small kicks, but getting good thrust off of the fin. So this fin, and basically all of these fins, if you're not in really good shape, you might not want to be diving with these fins because these fins can give your legs a real workout. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So the next fin on our hit parade is the Hog Tech 2 fin. And this is a fairly popular fin. It's probably the most affordable of all the fins up here and this is made by Edge Hog. And you'll again notice that it's wide. It doesn't quite have those um, ribs like what you saw in the RK3s, but it does have a, a real raised part here. And this area is a little thicker than these that helps keep this fin stiff. Again, vents in the dead area and two other little holes in the dead area there and a foot pocket drain right there. It's got a uh, spring type strap on it, which all of these do. And it's got just a pull tab like what you see right there. And it has metal connectors for the uh, little pivots and such. Now, this particular fin is an extra, extra large and all of these fins that I weighed are either extra, extra large or the largest size that these are basically coming in like the Super. So that's the Hog Tech 2 fin. Nice fin, very, very rubbery feeling versus the uh, RK3. Now this is the Scuba Pro Jet Fin. This is a fin we see a lot in the military or public safety applications. Many of these other fins you see, these are also being used by the public safety teams. And this particular fin, the Jet, um, again is one of those fins that's wide, it's heavy at uh, 3.6. So this is the heaviest of the bunch. It also has the spring strap, but it has no loop, finger loop on the top. It does have a little uh, material type cover over the spring to keep you from pinching your fingers if you don't have gloves on. And again, you can see the vents here and the dead spot, that sort of thing. One of the things you're gonna notice though is this fin does not have a foot pocket drain at all in it. So when you try to take your foot out of this fin, it, it kind of has a suction feel when you, really a nice fin, a very, very durable. That's why the military and the PS uh, public safety teams really enjoy these. So that's a quick look at a bunch of the tech fins that are available for you. Like I said, I'm gonna leave a link down below for all of these. I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply, and as I always say, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.